In this tutorial, I'll show you how to take an animation of a stickman made in Blender and export it using Blend for Web so that it will run inside a web browser. The starting point for this tutorial is the file made in my Stickman Walk Cycle tutorial. Click the link to download the file and there is a link to the tutorial and a link to the Stickman page at my website. The tutorial showed how to use cyclic extrapolation so that the Stickman could be moved and while moving the walk cycle is continuously looped. I'm going to set up just the walk cycle and use Blend for Web logic nodes to move the Stickman. Go to frame 200, click Object Properties, right click Location and Clear Keyframes. Set the Y location value to 0, set the total length of the animation to 20 and go to frame 1. Change Blender Render to Blend for Web, drag to make the timeline window bigger, change the window to a node editor window, click the Scene Properties button, tick Logic Editor, click the plus to add a new logic node tree, click the Blend for Web logic node button, Click the Browse Node Tree button and select the Blend for Web Logic Node Tree. Zoom in with the mouse wheel. Add Menu, Animation, Play Animation and connect the nodes up. In the Object field select Armature. The animation name is the action name. Control C to copy, Control V to paste. Change the behavior to loop. Change the view to the camera view. Select the camera, press G for grab, Y for the Y axis and Y again for Y local and move the camera up. Change the view to the camera view. Select the camera, press G for grab, Y for the Y axis and Y for Y local and move the camera up. Click Fast Preview and we get the walk cycle in a browser window but the camera angle is not quite right. To solve the problem, click the camera's object data properties, scroll down, set sensor to vertical and zoom in with the mouse wheel, set the target location Z value to 2. To move the stickman, in the Add menu, Object, Transform Object, and connect the nodes up. Click on the Object field and select the armature. From the entry point, the Play Animation node is the first node executed. Because the behavior is set to loop, the animation will last forever, so we must tick Do Not Wait if we want control to be passed on to the next node. The stickman is facing in the negative Y direction, so I'm going to set the Y location to minus 60 to move him 60 Blender units in a duration of 30 seconds. I want to select the stickman before he starts walking, so I'm going to move the nodes over to make room for another node. Add menu, control flow, switch select and drop that there. The skin of the stickman is still called cube because it was made from a cube. Click the object properties and rename it skin. And in the object field of the switch select node, select the skin. A problem with the switch select node is that when you click the mouse, if it is on the skin, a hit is fired. If it is not on the skin, a miss is fired. If you click and miss, and then you click on the skin,
the animation won't run because the node has been fired. One solution is to connect the misup as well, then the animation will run wherever you click. A better solution is to use a reroute node, add menu layout reroute, and connect the miss back to the input of the node. Now the animation will only run when you hit the skin, but you can have multiple misses. In the file menu, export, blend for web HTML, and click export. Go to the folder where you save the HTML file and open it. Now I can click anywhere but the animation won't start until I click on the stick man and then off he goes. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the finished file for you to download at my website. Click the link or the eye icon. If you'd like to subscribe click the link or the stick man in the bottom corner. Thanks for watching and goodbye.